Hi guys, Jake here, just doing a quick wrap-up for uh, 2018 before I uh, go head out with Marissa to meet up with some friends for a little New Year's Eve party. Um, and this year has been um, a little bit of an interesting one. It's been, I, I guess you could say, a very transitional year. Um, currently, I'm still in grad school preparing for, you know, the next phase of my career. Um, but as far as Power Rangers has been, we had the whole big uh, purchase by Hasbro, putting an, an end to uh, not just the Saban Brands era, but also the Bandai of America era that's been the last 25 years, um, and changing up the sequence of Sentai adaptations for the first time with the uh, with Beast Morphers adapting Go Busters for next year, so that's very exciting. Um, plus the transition in the comics from uh, Kyle Higgins' run worked up to a fantastic finale with Shattered Grid, uh, moving into Marguerite Bennett's run with uh, Beyond the with uh, Beyond the Grid, which is running now. Uh, I've I've been slowly catching up. I, I ran I fell behind a little bit after Power Morphicon, um, but so far those comics are are I, I like the. Um, I like the plotline going so far. I feel like um, they're still finding the the voice for this for this new storyline, this new team. Uh, I feel like it is it's improving as they go along. Um, I'm just waiting to see a little bit more of those character voices for why these in specific Rangers are the new team that we're following. Um, but. Shattered Grid was amazing, and I'm looking forward to seeing what the comics continue to bring. Uh, Hyperforce worked up to its big finale, and that was very exciting. Um, so there, there were so many things going on uh, with Power Rangers, all um, as far as their licensed storytelling uh, pursuits. Um, plus, we had the crossover with uh, Street Fighter for Legacy Wars. They had their, their little short film that got released. Uh, Heroes of the Grid uh, just blew away all of its goals for its Kickstarter, so we've got that going uh, for next year. Um, so that's all very exciting. Um, and the show itself, uh, unfortunately, although it, it didn't really stick the landing with the end of Super Ninja Steel, uh, we did get a really fun 25-year uh, anniversary episode, and that was very exciting. Uh, and Power Morphicon... Again, I know a lot of people had trouble with the lines and everything, but um, I had a whirlwind of an experience there, um, just trying to take on a little bit more of a uh, leadership role with uh, organizing panels and events, and, um, and and that was all very intense, but, but very satisfying, and I got to um, meet and hang out with good people there. And, uh, and yeah, it was, so th there's all these different things going on with Power Rangers this, this year, just sort of heralding the big shift into next year. Um, and then as far as, like, the world at large, even, you know, I tried to get a little bit more politically active and uh, canvassed for the midterm elections for the United States. Uh, so we're kind of moving over into that phase of uh, the American political process um, with uh, with a shift in power of the House of Representatives happening next year, and sure enough, we're going to be getting a lot of stuff going on with the primaries, and I don't know what to expect from that. Um, and, uh, and yeah, and as far as personal life, um, I've really been focusing on kind of uh, getting my, trying to get myself into a good routine, trying to uh, work on hitting goals for the future. Uh, getting a lot more exercise. Uh, finally, you know, this this year I, you know, finally started going to the gym somewhat regularly. I finally got back into Taekwondo after years away. I wanted to say close to 10 years since the last time I, got, I was at a Taekwondo practice, and hopefully next year I'll uh, finally be getting my black belt. <laughs> I've been, been a brown belt for the last decade, and I can't wait to finally get my black belt after all this time. Um, and, uh, you know, getting working through a few more scripts on, of course, Power Reviews. Uh, Power Reviews, I know, uh, has been slow going this year, but it's still a big pickup from where we were 
two years ago when we were in that long stretch where I was teaching and nothing was coming out. Um, we only managed to release four episodes this year, but um, they're at least coming along a little bit more steadily. You know, we got one in the winter, we got one in the spring, we got one at the end of the summer, and then we got one uh, at the end of the fall. So, hopefully, uh, the next run of episodes will come out a little quicker. Um, uh, now that I've finally gotten back into the routine of no longer just working on episodes 79 and 80 for two years, and 81 through 83 and all these little quick bursts uh, alongside that, now I'm actually back into working on things sequentially, getting more into a routine on editing. You might see a little Phantom Ranger behind me on a green screen. So 87 is uh, is coming along. And it's going to be another heartbreaker. We're, we're looking at um, just so much of year three is just going to be uh, an emotional roller coaster as we work through to the, to the end of the series. Um, my big goal is to try and see if I can get things to something of a monthly schedule. We're going to see how that works with 87, 88, 89, 90. Um, 90 is uh, mostly written at this point, uh, along with a few bits and pieces of the final 10 episodes are also uh, have been written as they were needed to be filmed for various circumstances. So that's coming along. Uh, obviously, we've been chugging along on the Sentai live reactions, the uh, Power Rangers Super Ninja Steel live reactions uh, this year. Uh, finally switching over to actual live streams in our live reactions, which um, you guys seem to have responded well to, so we do uh, currently intend to continue on with that and keep that running. Because uh, I definitely want to work on improving my levels of engagement. I felt like the context in, uh, conversations in context video uh, that I released for our six-year anniversary of the channel uh, was rather well-received, and we got some good... Uh, conversations going back and forth, so I'd like to do, you know, more of that sort of thing. Um, I don't know uh, how that, how well I'm going to be able to put in supplementary videos as I'm trying to work on year three of Power Reviews and all the heavy production elements that go into the this final run of, el of, uh, of episodes, um, but I, I'm going to do my best. <laughs> um, and I think the, the best way I'm going to be able to do that is just try and get myself into a solid routine, uh, which I've been working on throughout throughout the year, even though it's been disrupted by various events here and there, like the trip out to Power Morphicon, and um, more more recently the uh, trip down to visit my parents for Thanksgiving, had a big family reunion, and I got back and my car basically died. So um, another big you know, point of transition for, for this year was my first time actually going out and buying a car from a dealership. Up until now, it had all been hand-me-downs from my dad because he'd been, uh, he'd worked at used car, car dealerships for years and years, and so I would always get cars from him after, you know, the family was done with them. Uh, but now my parents had finally moved to uh, Florida, and I was, you know, an adult married man, I'm like, okay, I need to actually go out and get a car for myself, and I did, and I'm very happy with that. I got myself a Subaru Outback, and I've wanted a station wagon for years, so <laughs> I know that's a weird thing to say, but I, I've, I've just kind of always wanted to have a station wagon, and I'm, I've only had it for like four days, but I'm very happy with it. I'm so thrilled to actually have a car of my own that I like went and picked out and got for myself. Um, so that was, that's, um, you know, another, you know, new, you know, life transition experience. Uh, and really the big thing that I'm going to be working up to for next year is going to be getting back into teaching. I'm coming to the end of my grad school classes, and the next step is going to be getting back into a classroom again. Um, I've only got two more classes left to go for the spring, and then next fall I'm hoping to be teaching again. I'm going to be applying for jobs uh, with the new year, and uh, I'm going to be doing my best to get as much done as possible for Power Reviews in the months leading up to that uh, before my time gets cut back down again. Um, I'm going to do my best to do right by you guys. Uh, I, I hope that you have uh, enjoyed what we have put forth so far. Um, 
and I, and I'm really hoping that over the course of these next uh, year or so, I can really put out uh, a lot more of these episodes now that I've gotten finally back into the routine of putting out these episodes again. Um, and I, I'm going to push to see if I can possibly finish year three, which I started writing back in 2015 with the intention of it being released in 2015, hopefully by, you know, the before the end of 2020, hopefully I'll finally be done with Power Refuse and can move on to other projects and other uh, things in life. So uh, that's where I've been, and uh, that's what I've been working on throughout this year, and that's what I hope to work on next year. Um, expect a trailer to be coming out soon for Power Reviews episode 87. Um, really, the last thing is I just need a few pickup shots with a few actors, uh, and then I'll have a better idea of how much work I have left on this. I've been managing to get a lot of editing done in these last few days, particularly since, um, uh, since picking up the car, getting a few scenes filmed that, uh, had been waiting until I had reliable transport again. Um, and so that's coming along well. Almost all of 87 is is filmed. I have, like, maybe a dozen shots left with, like, you know, it's like two shots with this person, two shots with that person, pick up shots, so I can still edit the majority of it without that until, uh, until I'm able to get that. But hopefully, I'll be able to meet up with those actors in the next couple weeks and then release a trailer, and hopefully in January we can see episode 87 and I can continue moving forward on that sort of monthly basis uh, of these episodes. So, uh, I look forward to revealing to you guys what that next episode is. It's going to be a little bit of an unexpected... I don't think anyone's going to expect what the next episode is, but it's something that somehow just managed to really fit with what I was trying to tell with the story. So, I look forward to showing that to you guys. I hope that you all have a fantastic new year. I hope that you've all had a, a great 2018. I hope you all enjoyed uh, all the great things going on with Power Rangers this past year, uh, even for the parts that you didn't enjoy. I hope that there were other parts that made you happy and there's other things that you're looking forward to. I know there's a huge burst of energy with what people are looking forward to as we enter this new era of Power Rangers. And I look forward to, you know, enjoying that energy with you as I move through this final run of episodes for Power Reviews. Um, and if there's anything more that you want to see out of this channel, let me know. I know I've got, I owe you guys a Common Rider Build Rider Log, so that's coming down the pipeline. Um, but, again, I hope you all had a happy 2018. I hope you all have a great 2019. And, until next year... Farewell, Ranger fans, and let the power protect you.